Hello everyone, it is Test Render here. So I've been thinking about making a tutorial about uh, this Goosebumps maps and how to use them for a long time, but I never really get around doing it. Uh, but uh, some time ago somebody asked if I could make one, so here goes. So I have this character here, it's uh, currently having the basic Genesis 8 female texture for iRay uh, and shaders for iRay so that should pretty much cover everything that we need for this tutorial and how to use my Goosebumps maps so um, by the way if you wonder why my user interface looks like this is it's because I like it this way and you can pretty much drag and drop and uh, open windows and tabs and docs and change the user interface to look whatever you like and i think you should also change the things that you don't like and things may be in different places but uh, the one tab we really need is surfaces tab and if you don't have it anywhere on site you can open it from window paints or tabs and it's uh, somewhere down here surfaces and it should look something like this now when we select Genesis 8 female or Genesis 3 if you use that the same textures apply to Genesis 3 also you should be able to select from surfaces tab again Genesis 8 female and then there's this little Illuminati here in front of you can click that and open and select surfaces and you see everything is selected so click only torso now on the right side here you see a lot of stuff that you at this point don't really have to care about what you need to care about is to find base bump and you there's this slider and then there's this little icon here and if you move your mouse on top of the icon and and left click a little menu opens up and there's fourth from the top is layered image editor and you need to select that now you have your torso bump map texture opened up in this editor what you need to do next is to create a new layer you see this little plus sign here click that add layer then there's this resource none big button here click that select browse and i trust that you have downloaded the texture pack and unzipped it somewhere where you can find it and when you navigate to that I recommend using these softer maps there's uh, in, in some cases the normal a little bit uh, harder and sharper bumps work better but uh, I have found out that in most cases it is the softer ones that actually work, work better so this is softer for torso and I select that, open it there. And you can see there's a lot of white dots everywhere now. So this would be pretty extreme and harsh effect. So let's drop it to, let's say, 50%. The opacity of the layer and it's already much nicer looking. Click accept. There it goes. Then you need to repeat this for legs. Now I have arms left. And that's pretty much it. Let's render it real quick here in the viewport so you, we can see the, what kind of effect it is. So at this point you can't really see it or maybe a little bit.
So that's it for this tutorial. Uh, I hope it helped you. I hope you like it. And in any case, have a good one.